హలో ఎవ్రీబడి దిస్ ఈస్ నందూరామ్ అండ్ వీఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ సోనూ అకాడమీ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఆటోట్రాఫిక్ న్యూట్రియేషన్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఇన్ ద అర్లియర్ క్లాసెస్ యూ లర్న్ దట్ ద ఆల్ లివింగ్ ఆర్గానిజమ్స్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఎ కంటిన్యూషన్ సప్లై ఆఫ్ కార్బన్ కంటైనింగ్ కాంపౌండ్స్ ఫర్ గ్రోత్ అండ్ ఫర్ బిల్డింగ్ దేర్ బాడీ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ లెట్ అస్ సీ హౌ ద ఆటోట్రాఫిక్ న్యూట్రియేషన్ హెల్ప్స్ ఫర్ దేర్ గ్రోత్ అండ్ ఫర్ బిల్డింగ్ దేర్ బాడీ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ organisms which exhibit autotrophic nutrients is called autotrophs these organisms are able to synthesize their nutrients from simple inorganic compounds they require minerals water and carbon dioxide for their growth they are capable of converting carbon dioxide into various complex organic compounds however they require energy for this process the depending upon how the obtaining the energy of converting carbon dioxide to organic compounds there are two types of autotrophs and they are called as photoautotrophs and chemoautotrophs let us see what are the photoautotrophs and chemoautotrophs photoautotrophic organisms these organisms are there are several bacteria such as green bacteria purple bacteria and cyanobacteria can use light as a source of energy and synthesize complex organic molecules similarly all the algae and higher plants use light as a source of energy this autotrophic organisms are also called photoautotrophic organisms here photo means light these organisms have a special pigment in their body to trap the light energy which derives the other reaction The second group of autotrophs are called chemoautotrophs. These organisms obtain energy by oxidizing simple inorganic compounds such as hydrogen, iron containing compounds, sulfur, hyd- hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, nitrate and other nitrogen containing compounds. However, all these organisms require carbon dioxide as a source of carbon atoms. Points to be remember in this lesson are Autotrophs are able to synthesize all the required nutrients from simple inorganic compounds. They require minerals, water and carbon dioxide for this purpose. Several bacteria such as algae and higher plants are photoautotrophs and use light as the source of energy and synthesize complex organic molecules. Several bacteria are chemoautotrophs and obtained the energy by oxidizing simple inorganic compounds such as hydrogen iron containing compounds sulfur hydrogen sulfide ammonia nitrate and other nitrogen containing compounds they require carbon dioxide as the source of carbon atoms thank you this is nanduram and we are from sonu academy